Okay, I'm coming on real quick, just a quick intro. I did a quick um, show of what occurred when I used this um, Razzlemon Protective Acrylic Finish um, to protect this green painted LV piece. Um, just be forewarned, I read on the purse form, like if you were to do this, it may cancel like warranty, if like something with the canvas. Um, but um, the person was concerned about the, you know, the, you know, this artwork piece. Um, what's common is the wear that occurs with use. Um, there's nothing that um, Louis Vuitton would do if you were to bring it in and say, hey, my piece has been wear. They will just, they won't fix this. Like, it's not something that they're going to send it out to get this piece fixed. It's just they consider that as normal wear. Um, when you start having these spots, you know, where the artwork starts fading, they consider that normal wear. So it's not something that they would fix. So since that's the case, yeah, warranty doesn't really matter to me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this to protect it since they consider it normal wear. Um, I went ahead and put this finish on it to prevent that from further happening. So here's a quick video. Hey YouTube fam, so I just wanted to share real quick. I'm putting the protective coating on this LV piece. I already did it on the mini pochette. Um, and it's upstairs. <laughs> so I was like, before I do this one, I already put it um, on the front right here. So you can see it has like kind of like a glossy finish. I have not put on the back yet. So you see how the back looks without the protective sealant. And you see that you can see a difference right here. It leaves, you can see the marking here, how some of that protecting is a little, it gives like a little bit, bit of a gloss look as opposed to the natural matte look. Um, and the reason I'm doing it is to protect this um, screen painted evasion print. So um, now I'm using this product as I showed on my unboxing. You see, flexible, durable, water resistant surface coating for dyed and taped or polished leather. So those are the instructions. And um, so yeah. So that's what I'm putting on it. Um, let me show you real quick, like in the initial look, it does have this milky white look is, but when it dries, it dries clear and gives this finish. So I'm going to um, put like at least two to three coatings on. So the purpose of that um, is so like if it's rubbing against something, the protective coating will be the thing that rubs off as opposed to the um, screen paint. And as you can see with the sliding, you can see more in detail some spots, like this one in this corner here, where the paint has come off. And let's see if I can back up. And you can see some spots on the wheel. So to keep, keep it from further, you can see it better that way. Um, so I just want to share what I'm using. Give me one moment. I'm going to put um, another layer on the back so you can see. But you can tell the difference here. See that line here? This is where the sealant stopped. So you can, I just want you guys to see the difference of the before and after the sealant looks. Okay, so this is how it looks when you first put it on it. And you see what I mean? But then it dries down to that clear look like this. So I'm just going to let this dry. And then I'll come back and show you how it looks. Alright, so this is the after finish. Um, after it's dried. So um, now I feel more confident in carrying this piece. I'm going to put like at least three layers on it. So I 
already put one and I'll do a second and third coating so I can, you know, really enjoy this piece. All right. And I want to say a shout out to that, um, to the purse forum member who um, commented on the forum. Someone was, you know, back then in 2015, 16, was interested in the, you know, those limited, these limited edition screen painted pieces, but was concerned about the wear and they suggested um, getting this. And, um, you know, the direction says to use a damp cloth, no, um, a dampened sponge or applicator with water. Um, but um, the purse firm that member suggested just using the straight product, you know, with a clean, you know, white t-shirt or whatnot, you know, and nothing with that's lint that's going to, get on there because you know when it dries you don't want like the lint or anything to be dried underneath the coating so um so that's what I did all right just wanted to share with you guys hope you guys are having an amazing well it's late night <laughs> Monday early morning all right bye